guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do my room tour of this new house in Singapore and I think this is going to be a house that I want to stay in for a while. So I'm very excited about this. This is my new studio apartment and the first thing that I'm going to show you is my room. Starting off with my door. Right here you see a picture of Audrey Hepburn blowing a bubble. I think this really represents me which is classy with a bit of fun in her. That's correct. I did have a dream about her. Picked her from a street, I mean, picked her from a street side stall in New York. If you go a bit lower here, yeah, I have this little black masquerading mask that my mom got from H&M. I thought this went very well together, very classy, gossip girl chic, yeah. Anyway, what are we doing outside? Let's go in. Once you get in, this is what you see. I've got this beautiful bed next to this really nice huge uh, French window I would like to call it. I've got my world map here which is a scratch off map. Apurva got it for me. Let's see how many countries I was able to scratch off. Okay, let's see. Of course, we've got India. We've got a little bit of... We've got Moscow. I didn't really scratch off the whole country. I scratched off the actual place I went. Otherwise, this map would already be scratched off, honey. Also, this bed used to be a low bed. But then uh, the mattress was very uncomfortable. So I asked my uh, agent if I could have another one. If she could talk to the landlord. Turns out she had another mattress. So she, I got this. But I've been seeing bugs on my bed. For the past week and I'm a bit concerned. I have not changed this bed sheet in a long time because I wanted to film this video and I was procrastinating. So this bed sheet, this one is like forever old. This is what I use to protect myself from the ghosts at night because the bed sheets are that powerful. Uh, the one that is on here is from Home Center. I love this. This was my dream print, my dream aesthetic. I have a nice pillow to go with it. Speaking of pillows, I have this little, this little person called love which my friend gave me and then I got the Starbucks pillow which by the way I was in crew uniform this is a Starbucks Singapore Christmas exclusive I had to buy two one for me one for Bhaskar because Starbucks is our thing and I was in uniform I went an hour early uh, for my flight to buy these I took these to Australia because that is the flight I had that day brought them back that's the dedication that we have and this is actually removable which is super cool. You can have a hot drink or a cold one. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's check out this area right in front of me. It's my favorite. It's so aesthetic and I didn't really even have to do much to make it that aesthetic. Okay, so I'm on the floor in white jeans. This is what dedication looks like. <laughs> so I have this little plant here which is almost dying. But I try to keep it alive somehow, at least for the video, it's alive. I have this little flamingo which I got from Kmart in New Zealand. I went high and low to buy this. I didn't want to specifically buy this, but for decor items. I got this thing which the previous tenant had already. The owner had put it here and I just decorated it in a way. Not gonna lie, my mom is the one who actually decorated it. I didn't do much at all. This is all my mom's aesthetic. I have a little bit of Bhagwanji here which I look at whenever I wake up. I was not that um, spiritual or religious like that, like looking at God every day in India. Now I need a support, higher power to support me, to have in front of me. So that's that. I'm not a very religious person, more spiritual, but it's just this is my homie. I like to have them. I have this little light which projects uh, the, the, the constellations on the wall. Not a very clear one, but it's something. I've got a little candle, Seattle. My, I love the city Seattle. I had not gone there when I bought it, but I love the scent. I love the city Seattle. And I love this candle. Oh, I need to burn this more often. Uh, let me show you how I keep my earrings. Again, mom's idea. She actually gave, brought chocolates for me in this, which was not, again, this was not originally. This was originally for something else. She gave it to me for chocolates, and then we reused it the second time to put in my everyday earrings. There we go. How cool, right? She and her eye. This thing, which I think had dry fruits in it. It has this beautiful Mughal art. I put all my currencies, dude. This is currency galore. If you come to my house, Please don't steal this, not for the money cost, but like, yeah. Okay, so this is my favorite section because it has, it just looks so aesthetic, man. I've got all my perfumes. 
at first I used to think in the minimalistic mindset like, oh my god, why do I have so many? But you know what? I love it and I own it. I'm not minimalistic, I'm mindful. My favorite fragrance obviously have, has to be the Ariana Grande. Thank you, next. I use this so sparingly, guys. Oh my god. Hey, do you want a perfume collection? Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll cut out everything from here. I got two postcards. I got two postcards of my favorite paintings from the Van Gogh Museum and it's not even the famous ones. I love these ones the most because it's not allowed to stick anything on the walls. I just use command hooks, which is a lifesaver. I have a Jo Malone box here, which I think is fanciness personified. I'm never gonna buy this tiny candle for 800 rupees, so that's that. Got a light up candle with B. I got this makeshift, okay, so Apurva gifted this to me. This little frame, I stuck these flowers and these Polaroids of my family the first time I went home. This is the huge window, I love it. That balcony outside is mine as well. Okay, the lighting is super bad. Anyway, this is the mirror. Hi, that's the outfit of the day. I stuck these lights on there. My friend, my friends who were moving back to India gave me their, um, their mirror. They were like, hey, do you want to get it? Take, and take anything from this house. And we took so many clothes and things here. I'm so thankful for them, but this is the mirror. I think it's time that we check out the wardrobe. Oh, I have a Kylie Jenner poster here because my mom and brother bought that specially for me. So I stuck in there for aesthetics. Uh, if you remember my previous house, the Almira was like forever. In front of this, that Almira was so huge, but now I only have these two things for makeup, accessories, bags, and clothes. So I'm struggling. But now I think I have a system and I'm okay with it. Okay guys, so the battery is already flashing on the camera, so I'm not going to do a detailed tour. Maybe I'll do a separate closet tour to show you how I actually organize everything. But let me give you a quick view. I've got two levels of this. You can't see, but there's another level here. One, two, three, four for bags. And there's two drawers where I keep... I'm sorry, I was going to say drawers, how Singaporeans say. Two drawers where I keep my makeup and accessories. If you would like to see that, let me know. Up top, I've got stationery and all, no clothes there. But if you see, the, if you want the closet tour, I can make a detailed one about that. But honestly, that's pretty much it. I also have a little stool here, on which currently is my current book, which is Rituals for Everyday. Loving it so far. 12 books, 12 months, still going strong. This is a stool. Can somebody tell me how to clean this? Because I haven't cleaned it since the last owner went away, and that's kind of gross. Okay, and just like that, my camera battery survived my room tour.